we are looking at temperatures quickly cooling off here in the Miami Valley. A chance of rain still sticking around over the next few hours, but that will begin to taper off. We'll be dry by tomorrow morning, but much, much cooler. Kids, you may want to go for the bus stop. 48 degrees there at 8 a.m., 59 degrees for your lunchtime temperature, and then a pleasant 65 degrees. Sweater weather is here. We are looking at our Bryant Heating and Cooling Systems camera right now. This is I-75 right at Poe Avenue, and the roads are wet. Keep that in mind. We haven't seen rain in quite some time, and so it may feel a little bit extra slick out there at times. But on Live Doppler 2 HD for Montgomery County, we are starting to see the rain tapering off. Just a few isolated a light to moderate showers will continue over the the next few hours, as you can see, some rain beginning to enter Preble County and portions of uh, Butler County there. On Live Doppler 2 HD, we are watching this line of heavier rain now leaving uh, Clark and Green County, so that will quickly move out of the Miami Valley. If we do have any stronger wind gusts, it's going to be right along this line as it approaches the, the border of those counties. So overall, uh, not looking too bad across the Miami Valley. We are starting to see drier air move in, so if you want more rain, well, it's going to be hard to come by precipitation chances are tapering off. We'll see isolated risk through about seven o'clock. Very low chance of rain heading into the night. A very spotty shower will be possible. 57 degrees is your current temperature in Troy, Dayton, 56 in Greenville, 55 in Wapakoneta, Bell Fountain. Still at 68 degrees though in Wilmington. The cold front not quite there yet, but it's coming for you guys. And your temperatures, yeah, we're in the 50s. 50s the rest of the evening, dropping really into the lower 50s and upper 40s for our lows tonight. In fact, here's a look at those lows across the region. 44 degrees for your low in Eaton, 47 in Dayton, 46 in Xenia. We will be around 44 in Urbana, Bell Fountain, Wapakoneta, 45 through Sydney, and up into Salina. Highs tomorrow staying in the 60s, the lower 60s for areas north of I-70, so that's going to be Salina, Sydney, around 63 degrees 62 in Bell Fountain 65 degrees there in Troy we will be around 65 degrees through Dayton Springboro and 64 for your high in Xenia this is the start of that cooler weather pattern we've been talking about it is here and it's here to stay at least through the upcoming week and weekend and possibly even a little bit into next week we are talking about below normal temperatures uh, through Monday and then we will get closer to normal by the upcoming Wednesday and Thursday but this Wednesday and Thursday we are staying cooler we do see a chance of uh, an equal chance of above or below normal temperatures into the second week of October. But for now, we are tracking those cool evening temperatures. Not the best patio forecast, but still some scattered showers in the area. Very, very low chance of thunderstorms, mostly for those eastern counties. You can see on live our future track that we are going to take the rain off to our east by 7 o'clock. More uh, heavy impacts or heavy rainfall impacting the Columbus area. That will continue to push off to the east and northeast. And we dry out. We are going to keep it cloudy, though. A few breaks in the clouds early on tomorrow morning. Even a low chance for maybe some patchy fog. But then we really start to see more cloud coverage develop into uh, Tuesday night. And Wednesday, a very low chance of some rain showers, kind of on the backside of that low pressure system. And another cold front coming in on the way. So temperatures tomorrow, don't forget, staying in the 60s for highs. 65 degrees, you're high on Tuesday, 68 on Wednesday, 62 on Thursday. Then we may not make it out of the 50s Friday and Saturday. And look at these lows, 39 degrees, 38 degrees. Yeah, there's a chance for some frost and possibly even some cities getting down to that freezing point. We'll have to keep a close eye heading into the week.